Hi, and welcome to Highly Articulated Toy Reviews. I am Amy, here with Kyle, and today we are talking about Alternation Figures by Pandemoni Toys. All right, we're going to review two figures in this episode. Um, this is a fairly new action figure line, kind of hit the market, I think, at the beginning of, or the end of last year, rather. Um, they have two price points because they have two sec two sizes of figures. They have more of like the, some figures that just three, it looks like, at currently. This one right here, which is Quilroy, um, Dart, and Sabotage come in the bigger package right here on the side. Um, and I think these retail somewhere around $26.99, and then these are about $21. That could be a couple of dollars, which could be $24. Just two sizes, right? Yeah. Just, and they've got a, just right now, they've got a total of six figures out with what looks like two more on the way, but they're, they haven't, they haven't been came out yet. So. All right. So I have Quilroy here. He is kind of the gym rat of the crew. Um, and he is a rather large guy, likes to pump iron, likes to fight. <laughs> And he has spikes on his back, um, which we'll get to in just a second, that uh, will actually come off. So these figures are really, he really is um, just a very large guy. He's got a lot of mass to him. Very sturdy. Um, very sturdy. And uh, got a lot of moving parts, so pretty cool. His feet move, his, you know, got great articulation through the legs and knees and arms. Um, so lots of, lots of movement and lots of sturdy action you can get from him. Um, his bow also has an arrow that can be removed, and then he also has a barbell flail, um, which he can hold as well, switch him out, um, do any of that fun stuff with him. So his cool feature is that he has these quills on his back that can actually be shot. So we're going to give this a try. <laughs> They're going to go flying. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So pretty cool, pretty fun. At the end, maybe we'll try to knock over. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. We'll what do, see. What we'll do you see. think about the packaging? You know, I really like the packaging a lot. Great job with the colors. I love that they also have the opening on top as well, so you can kind of get a better view of the figure. Really great art, great graphics, um, and obviously he's got those other arrows in there as well. So they really provide a lot of different options for for play and for just uh, you know. What's on the back of it there? Of. They have a, um, I believe, a crossword puzzle on here, and they also have a um, description of the character, what his personality is like, what his abilities are. So he's a mixture of um, rhinoceros, human, African porcupine, and neotropical fruit bat. So you can see the bat in his face majorly. <laughs> he looks like he has a a, a bat face completely. <laughs> it's cool. He's yeah. He's. He's really maybe one of my favorites. I really love yeah, him. Cool. I mean, yeah. collectible for maybe an adult, but definitely, if I mean, if I was a kid, I'd be all over it. <laughs> and it does say free graphic novel. There is a tiny little comic in, inside each each packaging. Um, it says it right there. But the cooler thing of all of it is that you can go to their website, which is alternation.toys, and they have these free, like, two-minute, yeah, two-minute, two-and-a-half-minute webisodes, like little cartoons. And they actually add a lot to the figure. Without it, you, I mean, you still get a lot of information here, but once you watch them, it's a lot more to enjoy. You get the personality Absolutely. from the figure. And the fact that that's free is really cool. Um, I'm sure they would love to get it on some sort of main network mm -hmm. to get it in front of more people. Yeah. So I have El Rey, smaller pack, but yeah, the packaging is amazing. I mean, it would look great on a shelf. It really would. Um, it lists the other figures available in Wave 1 right there. And then Wave 2, which hasn't came out yet, but it releases them there. Kind of tells you some of the really cool artwork on that side. And uh, tells you its features. So it says Electric Lightning Storm, which, you know, <coughs> just sounds cool. It doesn't tell you exactly what it is. Flexible Stingray Tail. And then it says Collectible El Rey Mini Comic. And that's about everything in the package. The back is cool because it does tell you, like she was saying, about the what animals' genes they developed. This Kim Mira is a doctor. I guess, and she created all these mutants to help, I guess, initially to help humanity, but as, as it always goes, it kind of backfires. El Rey is uh, part human, manta ray, electric catfish, electric ray, sailfish, and stingray. And his observed abilities, he's amphibious, bioelectric bolts, slime-coated skin, and a tail spine. So here's what he looks like. He's really cool. I have kind of his... Uh, spear in his hand right now his rubber tail is one of his cool features as you can see it's just like and i was worried that maybe it would come off or get dirty i've had him out of the package for quite a while took him outside took photos 
didn't get dirty, never came off. I've been messing with him for a while, so that's that's cool. Ankle articulation, knee articulation. Uh, it's pretty good swiveling leg hip too, really. And he has this cool, really cool. Let's see, where's the button? Yeah, right on his belt. If you push that belt button, you can get that kind of cool lighted effect, which is really cool. I like it. And he also comes with a cool little like spear kind of harpoon gun, handgun thing, which is awesome. And some sort of larger weapon, maybe like a rocket launcher type thing. And El Rey is the leader of the good guys. Both of these characters are supposed to be good guys. Seem to tend, yeah. Yeah, they're they're both on on. I think it's called what is it called? Uh, GK Delta. Yeah, Generation Chimera. Hence the doctor's name. So he's the leader of the crew. Um, he's the guy that kind of makes the decisions. He's probably more the muscle. Definitely. I want to see if you can knock El Rey down with those spikes. <laughs> You're gonna have to get him kind of right. close. Let's not not because I kind of let's see. Let me get him. His tail's pretty straight. All right, go All ahead. All right, here we go. Oh, you Whoa, did hit him. You did him hit him, and he almost little... moved. Pretty cool. Um, final thoughts. I love him. I really love him. Honestly, <laughs> I would give him probably 8 out of 10. I don't know if I could think of anything to improve him other than more characters, um, you know, more more content to discover more about him, like a, an official comic, or if they continue with this webisode thing. That, I think that adds a lot to it. Um, but I think they're great especially for a kid because there's parts of it that are even almost educational you learn about different animals and different genes and i don't know it's just a cool cool idea what yeah, do you think i'm in agreement i think eight out of ten nice solid figures um just lots of interesting things to learn about the different characters like you said the webisodes give uh give you a little hint to their personality um so the yeah, packaging's overall, even able to be saved you know you can you can snip it um if we do another review on them, we might actually unbox one to show you that you can preserve the packaging. It's, it's cool as heck. Cool. So. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed our review. Please like and subscribe, and we'll talk to you next time.